I just recently watched the video Zeitgeist, the scholarly review. As an atheist, I'm always looking for truth and science. I did feel like Zeitgeist was way too certain on certain issues and weak on their references. I am not an atheist because of Zeitgeist. I'm an atheist for many other reason reasons. The pastor in this series was good at refuting certain claims in part one of Zeitgeist, but ignored the stuff that he couldn't refute, and was horrible at defending his own beliefs. He even claimed that jo the Josephus text was legitimate, even though it has been found to be a fraud even by religious scholars. Just a little background on myself, I grew up homeschooled and meshed in the church. I memorized whole books of the Bible and great passages of scripture. I really thought I knew the Bible. I must have heard every sermon ever preached about five times. I really thought I knew the Bible 100%, at least the parts that were important to my immortal soul. However, this video pointed out that it's easy for you to have misunderstandings of something in the Bible because someone interpreted it in a different way from you. It wasn't until about this week that I realized we don't know how many magi there are. I just believe there were three. I don't know how I missed this point. I'm now 30, and with all the study on the Bible I've done, it's hard to believe I didn't know that. A few years ago, I discovered the Bible never said that people laughed at Noah when building the ark. Even though every single video you ever see of it, you have the neighbors and people laughing at Noah for building the ark. Our memory is funny. It's being rewritten all the time, and we will twist what we read around what we have already been told. It wasn't until I got away from the church for a few years that I was able to actually read the Bible unbiased, and it turned into a horrible book of cynicism, hate, genocide, and slavery. This is why it was believed for so long that lay people shouldn't read the Bible because they may interpret it wrong. Church is pretty much an interpretation of the Bible, and you aren't encouraged to question it. It really only focuses on the good, marketable stuff and spins it so it's more acceptable. If they focus on, say, Jephthah sacrificing his daughter to God and being called a righteous man, or the rules of forcing rape victims to marry the person who raped them, or all the genocides that God called for, the message wouldn't sell so well. Church works like watching a movie before you read the book. If you read the book first, you can establish for yourself the plot, the characters, what they look like, their personalities, and focus on the parts you think are most important. When you watch a movie first, though, you are biased by the movie, seeing the book through the eyes of someone else. You can't establish any character for yourself. That has already been done by the actors. You just tend to focus on the stuff the person who made it found to be most important. The director will most of the time leave out stuff that the author may have considered more important, and more often than not, they will add stuff to it that was nowhere in the original book. And the majority of what is put into movies is the marketable stuff. Good action sequences, CGI, watered-down versions of complex ideas, and love scenes that were either never in the original book or they were made extra sappy and shallow. If you want to really know what God's Word says, wait until you've read the book before going to see the movie. You know, church.